Lord Dundar, and I'm going to give you a little overview. This is your main game menu. You can see you have resources and building, as well as the seasons, game speed, and a mini map here. You're thrown in your subjects. This is where you're going to do most of your gameplay. This is in a mini map expanded, so that way you can see where your resources are. I have them pointed out here coal, metal ore, trees, fertile ground, stone. There's also gems, but they're hidden on this um, on this picture I have here. This gives you your basic resources for the game. So let's get to it. This is a game that I have where I'm building out a little keep, and then over here is my warehouse and my farms. I've got all of them set up and running to feed my people. This is where I'm building my industry. That's the first one, my carpenter, and a metal smither, which is getting resources from the ore mine there, and the coal mine over here. Then I also have, yeah, so the, the metal will go into the metal smith and then come back out and go to the warehouse. I make it so it's all close by each other so that they move quickly back and forth. And then I have my weaver set up right here. He takes cotton and coal and turns it into um, cloth. And from that, I can make clothes. This is my mason. He's gonna take my stone, which is down here. These are where all my quarries are. And that mason is gonna cut that stone into cut stone blocks. This is a building I'm building up. And then let's see here. Uh, this is the jobs menu. I just wanted to show this real quick. There's an activate and deactivate button. It's the yellow button there. It's a toggle switch on the left. And then I have a delete room button there with the X. Okay, so this is your first tier resources for your industries stone, wood, etc. Your second tier resources are like your carpenter, your metalsmith, your weaver, your mason. All of those are going to be needed for your third tier resources. Okay, and then we have your military training. I have two little ones set up right here, just like guard towers. That's all I'm using them for, but I'm still going to be able to train troops out of that. Okay, and it's important that you have some military training. We also have libraries, bathhouses, service and entertainment. Your entertainment and your services, and the service being especially important, will help increase your reputation. Your reputation will increase your population. So these little things here show that I don't have supplies, and those supplies would come from my stonemason. Let's look at my uh, reputation. I have a lot of food in my food stores. I'm fully employed. I'm very good with burial, but I have an unburied corpse. There he is. Somebody died. Let's click on him. And there he is being dragged into the graveyard. So that unburied corpse negative will go away in the near future as Rosie digs a hole. Okay, and now you can change your policies and equip clothing or add extra food, feast invitations, and bath access. Right now I have a little bit of clothes, so let's kick that up to one piece. And let's see here, but I don't have, uh, yeah, my clothing will go there and my people will start to gain reputation for that and I'll gain more people. I don't have any battle gear, so I can't give my people any battle gear right now, but I do have food. So let's increase, let's see here, nobody's starving. My food rations are even. So if I look at this, let's kick my food rations up and that will lower my food stores in days. Watch, 11 days worth of food or if I feed 1.25, nine days worth of food. My reputation will continue to rise with that. As my reputation goes up, I'll gain more people. Okay, close that down. Now, I think I'm going to have more resources and industries built up on the right-hand side. And then keep my keep over here as I'm building up these grand buildings for me, my lord. And 
I put my graveyard there so that way I could get people to and from the graves quickly because we want to make sure that everybody's taken care of. Let's look at the... Oh, this is a dark mini-map. Mm. Let's speed up some time. Make it so it's daytime again. It's almost day. It should be bright enough soon. This is a great game. It's made by Jake, a single-man developer. It's an early access on Steam. Um, it's called Song of Six. And please like and subscribe to our channel. I will have more of these videos coming soon. So let's look at this mini-map. This kind of gives an overview of my city. And you can see my resources that I'm collecting down here. And that's one of the ways that people are coming in and out down that little hole. I think I'm going to build in this area all of my industry and then my farming there. And then that'll be my keep. And then I think I'll put maybe some access to all these resources over there and up over here. Maybe wall that area off. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I have enough space to easily build. Okay. So here we go. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Uh, again, this is OtterTube Gaming. My daughter Rosie does a lot of Minecraft videos, and I'm going to have more stuff for you. Come back and check us out. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.